Richard Linklater, Glenn Powell, Adria Jano, a romantic comedy made for adults to be experienced on the big screen. Well, a pity that Netflix got the rights to distribute it in English markets. And by the way, it has nothing to do with the IO Interactive game series, although a lot of people seem to be focusing on that on the internet, which is a bit frustrating because this movie is actually really great. In typical Linklater fashion, he collaborated with his lead in the writing process, similar to what he did with before sunrise and midnight. If there's no intriguing spark between those two central characters, as well as the actors that are playing them, then a movie like this is just falling short on its premise alone. In my opinion, the chemistry between these two is just off the charts, which is why this movie works so well. So Lachlan, what did you make of this steaming hot crime thriller romance movie? It's a lot of different things. What did you make of it? I had a great time. What can I say? I think that if you're expecting one thing, you are probably going to be disappointed at first but then the film goes in a direction that is the opposite of what I thought it was going to be and I loved it I had a great time I think that the chemistry between the two main characters is phenomenal I think that narratively it flows very well conversations feel natural dialogue just just it's it's Richard Linklater like, like let's be real like it's before the before <laughs> trilogy creator so when it comes to just people talking you could just sit there all day and just will listen and just be invested so that's the best part about it uh from a visual standpoint the film is kind of okay like there's nothing fancy about it that happens it's just a stock standard movie audibly like the music is good and the score is fine but you're really just invested in these two characters and where they go and I think that to have a film kind of do that basic so so well you don't really have to worry about everything else about the film of how it's constructed because at the end of the day if you want to make a good movie have a good narrative have a two interesting mm. characters have some interesting conflict have something that makes it awkward and weird and put them in a weird spot and that's what they do they have these two characters that are kind of from two different worlds being these two people lying to each other but you kind of don't know that but you do know that in some situations and if you know a little bit more it makes that that scene feel a lot more uh interesting but the film just works on a lot of different levels and i think that mm -hmm. it's a bit disappointing to see this film not be in cinemas like i think that it's one of those movies that that should have come out in cinemas and would have been a good one but i can also see this film being one of those like really successful dvd movies like comes out on physical media and gets bought out like crazy uh i could feel like if this was back in the age where renting movies from a video store was very popular this would be a big seller and i could definitely see yeah. it being like that but i feel like it's made at a time where that is now netflix that is now on demand streaming and i get it you That's get two days on netflix it up yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's honestly, it's a bit interesting to see that happen. And mm -hmm. Netflix bought this film and it's a shame that it could have fallen into the ether of the Netflix algorithm, but it's currently at like spot number one. And that's awesome. People are watching it and yeah. hopefully they'll get exposed to the, the link later magic and go and rewatch the before trilogy or the sunrise trilogy or whatever oh, fuck hopefully. you call it, Ewan. The before trilogy, it's it's sunrise, yeah. sunset, midnight. I'm I'm a true fan. It's my favorite trilogy of all time, and this one is my favorite of the year. It mainly like there's some great films that come out that have come out this year, like Dune, like Challenges. There's a ton of great films, but this one just does something that I really really appreciate, and it's so rare, and that is good romance. I don't even care that much about rom coms, and that they're not really around that much anymore. This is something that. It doesn't really fall into the rom-com tropes anyway. So it's not like it's scratching the itch of something that maybe some people feel like has gone from, from cinemas and has moved to streaming in a lesser capacity because the movies are, tend to be really shit. This one is, is, like you said, something that should be experienced with a full theater. I had the privilege to ca uh, catch it in Venice and not knowing anything about the premise other than the title is Hitman. Uh, it really throws you for a loop when we get those different personas. And on a rewatch, they don't really hold up as much. Like It's way more about the romance than it is about the comedy and the costumes and all of that. But because that center core between these two is so strong and so intriguing, and they have so much charisma, that it just is such a blast to watch this film. And I had a great time with the rewatch uh, six months later. And I will be rewatching this. I can already tell you before the end of the year. It's a great date movie. Like all of his films are, like you said, like you watch it by yourself. And then 
um, <laughs> you ended up watching it with your girlfriend soon after because it's it's that type of film. It screams to be shared, and I hope people uh, take the time to to watch it with people because uh, it's it's a blast. I gave it a four and a half out of five. Yeah, Lachlan, you're slightly lower than me on that. I gave it a four out of five. A little bit lower, but still pretty positive. We discussed it in detail in this week's podcast episode, and you can also find the review separately posted on the channel here as well. Uh, consider subscribing. Let us know what you thought of it and what your favorite Richard Linklater uh, film is in the comments. And yeah, we'll see you soon.